I'm hungry. Th those things look good. I bet your ass they do, Morty. That's the breakfast baconator, frosty chino, and honey butter chicken biscuit. Forget the square burgers and frosties. Wendy's is serving up breakfast. So let's all wake up early for these 10 Wendy's breakfast menu items you need to eat. Breakfast sides. Just waiting for my breakfast. Lewis! In March of 2020, the square-shaped hamburger slinger debuted its much-anticipated breakfast menu at sites around the country. Frosty chinos with cold brew coffee, breakfast baconators, honey butter chicken biscuits, and a breakfast burrito are among the menu's many options. Interestingly enough, this isn't Wendy's first try at a morning menu. The brand has tried breakfast a few times since its inception in 1985, but none of its attempts have been successful. So, following a string of failures, you might be doubtful that the chain could pull it off, but take our word for it, Wendy's has done it. The launch of Wendy's breakfast menu coincided with health measures that left many dining rooms closed for periods of time. Rivals noticed a drop in breakfast sales. Mickey D's even briefly dropped its all-day breakfast menu. Wendy's pushed on, and breakfast quickly accounted for 8% of the company's overall sales. And to go along with that breakfast baconator, although most people would happily eat plain french fries with their breakfast, Wendy's, like many other fast food companies, serves seasoned potatoes and other offerings in the morning. They aren't messing around with the recipe either. The side dish is flavored with salt, cracked pepper, and garlic, something like the everything but the bagel spice. This accounts for the potato's perfect texture, crunchy on the outside, mushy on the inside. While potato wedges are the most popular side dish, you have a variety of additional alternatives to complete your breakfast. Sounds sweet. It is sweet. Oatmeal bars, which are filled with whole oats, sweet blueberries, and tangy cranberries that taste like cookies, are also on the menu. If you prefer something sweet, there are also two side biscuits, one with simply sausage and the other with honey butter. Wendy's Honey Butter Chicken Biscuit Sandwich. Bake! No. 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 Regular chicken sandwich. Making your own wonderful chicken and waffles breakfast versus stopping at your favorite fast food establishment for a morning pick-me-up might be challenging, especially when life is moving too quickly for you to keep up. So why not splurge a little while saving money and indulging in a delectable breakfast? Wendy's Honey Butter Chicken Biscuit Sandwich is one of the best fast food breakfast sandwiches you'll ever have. Chicken biscuit's a bruiser, Morty. Do not mess with that guy. I understand. Run, run, Morty, ah! run! You can get one of these for a great price, sometimes for as low as $2. Wendy's made everyone's lives a little better after their breakfast menu finally went nationwide. It's not difficult to stop at a Wendy's every morning to pick up iconic products like the Breakfast Baconator and delectable Frosty Chino. Fortunately, they've created a rewards program to help justify our insatiable need for their amazingly wonderful meals. With $2 honey butter chicken biscuit sandwiches, they're even giving us a better deal, even if that price doesn't last forever. Forever. A crisp chicken filet, appropriately seasoned and covered with maple honey butter on a beautiful buttermilk biscuit will surely please any hungry customer. You already know how delicious this sandwich is if you've tried it. If you haven't tried it yet, let us be the first to tell you that it's fantastic. The Breakfast Baconator What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. The breakfast baconator from Wendy's will make your day as long as you know what to expect. First and foremost, there is no square beef patty in the breakfast baconator. The breakfast version contains a square sausage patty instead. Second, it's served with the same bun as the traditional baconator. Because this bun is so pleasant and sweet, it virtually melts in your mouth. A piece of melty American cheese is set atop the sausage patty and a layer of bacon is layered on top of the cheese, followed by the egg layer. Another piece of American cheese sits on top of the egg, a second layer of bacon is placed on top of that, finally a Swiss cheese sauce is applied to the top layer. The sauce, oh my god, the sauce. Continue. Overall, this breakfast sandwich is bursting at the seams with taste. The breakfast baconator is not for the faint of heart, but if you wake up with an insatiable appetite, this is the sandwich for you. The Hot Honey Chicken Biscuit. Or spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. The chicken sandwich wars are officially over. At the very least, there seems to be a ceasefire. Even though the initial flurry of new chicken sandwich launches started with Popeyes in 2019, Wendy's has determined that 2022 was the right time to make some changes to the simple looking chicken sandwich. Wendy's has introduced a hot honey chicken sandwich to their regular menu, as well as a hot honey chicken biscuit to their breakfast menu. On closer inspection, the competition with 
other, maybe more successful chicken sandwiches is clear. The Hot Honey Duo combines heat and sweetness to provide fans delectable all-day chicken sandwiches that are anything but bland. So, with its new breakfast-focused chicken, will Wendy's be able to outmaneuver the competition? One of the best aspects of the chicken sandwich wars has been the clear labeling. Wendy's has added the Hot Honey Chicken Biscuit to its breakfast menu for the first time since it began serving breakfast in 2020. This breakfast sandwich introduces diners to hot honey on a breakfast biscuit at a fast food restaurant. An all-white meat breakfast chicken filet drizzled with spicy honey sauce and served atop a warm, fluffy buttermilk biscuit is something that everyone should dream about in the morning. The item was intended to capitalize on one of the most recent food industry trends, hot honey. The talented Wendy's culinary team believed they could bring the hot honey craze to the table in a unique way. That is precisely what they have done. Hot honey is a sauce usually made from honey and chilies. Wendy's recipe calls for honey, brown sugar, habanero pepper sauce, mango, banana, tamarind, and sugar as a final touch. They found us. How'd they know where we live? Just hold still. It's a wonderful addition to anyone's morning and is sure to add a little pep to your step, even on the most mundane of days. Sausage, egg, and Swiss croissant. So light, like a croissant. Wendy's sausage egg and Swiss croissant consists of a sausage patty, fried egg, and flavorful Swiss cheese sauce on a toasted croissant bun. This is a rather new breakfast offering from Wendy's. Most people's initial impression of this sandwich is that it's rather square. In contrast to the normal round bread and square patty pairing found on Wendy's burgers, the croissant bun is square and fits nicely over the square sausage patty. The croissant bun features a thick crumb and somewhat flaky crust, as well as a faint butter flavor. The sausage patty is generously seasoned with black pepper to the point of being tingly and hot. It has a robust, pleasant flavor that complements the other sandwich elements. The texture of the morning sausage is really meaty and delightfully firm. The sauce has a delicate consistency that is just rich enough not to leak, but isn't gooey in the way that cheese sauce usually is. There is a pleasant Swiss taste with a subtle sour note that is reminiscent of a mild yet creamy hollandaise sauce. Can I get some cheese with? or hollandaise. No. The egg is also cooked through and not rubbery with just enough crispiness to give it that fried egg feel. Even the egg is shaped into a square-like form to go in with the square concept. Sausage gravy and biscuits. Gravy. Wendy's Sausage Gravy and Biscuits is one of the most shocking breakfast dishes on the menu. It's challenging to stand out in a crowded sector when so many fast food places provide something similar. Wendy's version, on the other hand, is so delicious that you'll return just to get another taste. There's always wanting more. More! More! This breakfast item's deliciousness defies rationality. The biscuit is the same one that comes with other Wendy's breakfast items, so it's nothing exceptional on its own. The sausage gravy is the key to unlocking all of the flavor. Wendy's hits a home run when it combines bits of sausage in a white gravy. Unlike other sausage gravies, this one has enough spiciness to hold your attention and make your taste buds dance. Wendy's offers more than enough gravy in this morning plate, which is is another plus. You'll have plenty of gravy left over once the biscuit is gone, but no one will judge you if you want to squeeze every last bit of gravy into your mouth. Bacon Egg and Cheese Biscuit. And by the way, no. these biscuits are amazing. Wendy's biscuits are in a league of their own when it comes to morning bread selections. To be honest, it's not even a close race. Wendy's biscuits are flaky and buttery to the point that they can compete with any other biscuit on the market. Their bacon is also crispy and miles ahead of some other food chains. So that would make the Bacon Egg and Cheese Biscuit great in every way. That's just perfect. Begin with the egg, which is always spot on. Then a generous portion of delicious bacon sits atop the egg, which is held in place by a slice of American cheese. The delicious and crumbly biscuit holds everything together with a buttery and warm finish. This item is bigger than you think, so if you've never tried it, know you only need one to fill yourself up entirely. If you want to get the most out of this sandwich, eat it while it's hot. If you mistakenly let it get cold, reheat it in the microwave for a few moments to bring it back to life. Maple bacon chicken croissant. You guys want a 10% discount on duty-free maple syrup? 
do I ever? Brunch is the perfect meal for individuals who want it all, suffer from FOMO, or are just undecided. Well, if this describes you, don't miss out on this brunch-appropriate sandwich. First, we have a croissant that stays toastier and drier than its predecessors thanks to an updated mix of drier proteins that produce less steam. Then there's the fried chicken and bacon. Both of these are well-drained and free of excessive fat, which contributes to the croissant's improved texture. The smoky taste of the bacon is more apparent, and the crunch was easily retained in this sandwich. Take your time and savor every bite of the maple bacon chicken croissant. It keeps the crispiness of well-done bacon and creates a smoky and lasting final impression. <laughs> Well-seasoned, crispy, and delicious chicken is the true star of the show. Because the same filet is used for the other morning chicken sandwiches, its star power is not a surprise. The maple honey butter, like its biscuit cousin, offers a delightful sweetness that is piled on the chicken and bacon before sinking into the valleys between the two. This sweetness also brings out a slight acidic flavor in the croissant. Together, they stop all the fried components from tasting too heavy, while the two applications of creamy butter keep it from feeling dry. Frosty Chino. Another cold brew? Don't mind if I cold do. One of the newest menu additions, the ever-famous Frosty, has been added to Wendy's morning offerings. This is the one Wendy's fans have dreamed about for decades. The Frosty Chino, a delightful and surprisingly light drink that blends two classics over ice. This is now one of Wendy's buzzworthy breakfast menu stars. Cold brew coffee and a chocolate or vanilla Frosty. After one sip of the Frosty Chino, you might never go back to your beloved Starbucks Frappuccino. They're very good, very delicious. Yes, it's that delicious. Despite the name, there really is no cappuccino in it, espresso with foam milk, since espresso would be hot coffee, and Wendy's only serves drip coffee. They also lack the necessary equipment to froth the milk. The Frosty Chino has a pleasant coffee flavor with very little bitterness or acidity. With just a trace of vanilla frosty taste, it's pleasantly creamy and sweet. It's essentially a nice cup of coffee, with a dash of vanilla frosty on top served over ice. Coffees. Would you be requiring a cold beverage while you're here? I'd love some coffee. When it comes to coffee, Wendy's keeps things simple. Like many other fast food restaurants, they use 100% Arabica beans. They don't serve any iced coffees or exotic varieties to entice your taste buds right now, although they do have a version that is mixed with a Frosty. But that's a whole other ballgame. Despite its simplicity, Wendy's manages to deliver a high-quality product. Their coffee is properly medium roasted, which helps to bring out the nuances of the Arabica beans while preventing the coffee from feeling watered down. It may have a somewhat burned aroma compared to the competitors, but it has a rich flavor. Wendy's doesn't stop there. Their coffee is less expensive than those of other fast food joints. Shut up and take my money! They also appear to serve coffee that is hotter than their competitors. Not only are their cups larger, but they also have some kind of magical insulation that keeps their coffee hotter for longer. It's all quite straightforward, but Wendy's is a good choice if you want a huge cup of steaming coffee that won't break the budget. Noise. Hey, all right, you made it to the end. But why go anywhere else? We've got a ton of other videos for you to check out. Take your pick. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.